Welcome, my name is Vince, and today I want to show you how to use RF beads and toroids to reduce RF in your shack. Now, I have these on most wires in my shack and in some parts of the house. I'm going to start with the power wire. You can take a bead, which is one of these open snap on beads, and when you close them, they snap shut. You take your power wire and go through them a couple times or more. Every time you go through them, it's like having another bead. So this one bead is actually working as two beads. You could do the same thing with the smaller one or, or the same size one. For your cell phone cable, you see I got three turns on this. That also works great with phone chargers because they are a known issue. Then you could take on your coax. And you can snap them on just like this. Snap a few on. I usually have at least five, five in a row. If you want to spring for these much larger beads, they're a really good size. You can get in there. And you can also use the cumulative effect and go around two or more times and then snap the bead shut on that. Now, this one bead's actually counting as two. You count every time your wire goes through the center, counts as one. Then you go through again, that counts as two. And each time you go through it as a cumulative effect, giving you more of an impedance choke. Then with the power wire, you can also use a toroid. You can see I went through it three times for demonstrative purposes. One, two, and three. But you can go all the way around if you want. It just adds impedance. Now at some point, I think it's around 8 or 10 turns, you reach a point of diminishing returns. And in no sense of going any more than 10 because you won't get anything out of it. Now if you happen to use the thinner coax and you want to use it to toy, you can also go through it with your coax several times, like such. That also gives you the same impedance see if I can get a white background impedance effect and it all works towards reducing RFI in the shack now I also use the beads on my headphones I also have them on the phone wire that's in the shack I have them on all the radio power wires the peripheral power wires like the tuner light and the, uh, the LP100 I have them on the power wires of my amplifier. I even use them on my mic cables. Let me see if I can get my mic into view. You'll see I have two on this way. And then I got one here for demonstrative purposes. That actually goes through this bead twice. Which works really nice for the mic. That's the radio mic. I use the same mic for the radio as well as for recording. Since any wire can be either a transmitting or a receiving antenna for interference, I also stick them on my speaker wires on my stereo as well as the power wire. And I stick them on my TV cable and my Ethernet cable. They're two important things to me. I also have a battery backup for my radio and computer and modem I also stick them on there I also have them out in the living room on the television and these giant ones are great they offer a lot of impedance but they're they're expensive you can go ten dollars for one of these these ones here were like six now the ferrite comes in different mixtures I use mixture 31 on 1.8 to 60 millihertz and then anything above 60 millihertz I'll use mixture 43. I also use 43 on my power wires. I hope you found this helpful. Remember to subscribe, ding that bell, and 73s.